Hi, what's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we're inside Pinnacle Studio 23. Now, whenever I first loaded this, this right here is the demo project. So, whenever I first loaded it, it bogged the system down bad. While I was playing it, right here, this top line, first start the program, it is going to load this demo project. And across here is caching. There's a color right here. So that was going across the entire top of the timeline here. And while that was up yonder, it bogged the system down. The CPU was screaming high. And then after it got rid of it, so I had no more of this discoloration up here. Now it actually runs. And it runs without an issue. So whenever you first load Pinnacle Studio, and it has that line going across, give it a few minutes, let it finish loading before you actually start. So, I mean, I like some of the transitions that it's doing here, and I can scrub the timeline really, really good. Even though these are smaller files, you can find out the file size by right-clicking on it and then coming to display information. And then right here, you can scroll down and then you can find out that this is a 720 by 480 pixel. So let's come over here to set up control panel so while we're in here I'm gonna go ahead and change the render file location I don't like to have anything sitting inside but yeah it's a scratch okay that's what it is so this right here is the scratch files and so it should all be inside of here so let's actually go and take a look at this location and let's see what we've got going on here Okay, so that right there is all of the scratch files. So if I was to delete everything in here, as well as inside the temp folder, then it will actually uh, cause this line right here to come back. So let's actually, we're gonna do a little study here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And so we've got 455 items in here. And we're going to set this at so that it can come in with the very last item. And uh, 658. So that's what time it is. So we're going to come over here and we're just going to uh, control V, copy and paste. And then we got 455. So let's see what it does. See if it actually adds anything else. So yeah, we got this right here. See, it's adding it in. So that's what it is. This right here is our scratch location. And this area is going to get huge really, really, really fast. So it's 172 megabytes sitting in here right now. So let's right click, go to properties. It's 175. So the bigger your project is, the more scratch files that it's going to send to this location right here. And then the more massive that this folder is going to get. However, what this is going to do is going to make it to where you can actually. Uh, you can scrub the timeline a lot better. See there? See how it stops? And so, but uh, it's going to make it where you can scrub the timeline a lot better. And it's going to be a lot smoother for you. Now, you do want to get you an, SS, an SSD drive. I wouldn't do this on a, a mechanical drive. It's about like using After Effects or Premiere from Adobe. You want to have them on a SSD drive so that all this information can be sent there and read back really, really fast. And that gives you the ability to scrub your timeline really fast. So this is, uh, I don't really want to keep this here, but since it's a small one, but uh, you can easily change this by coming over here to settings, control panel, coming down here to storage location, and then you can change this and you can also delete the file. So let's go ahead and delete the files and I'll show you what I went through. So we're gonna delete the rendered files and it should get rid of everything. So everything is gone. And now if we come over here, you see it's got everything back. Now it's gonna sit there and it's gonna feed everything back into it as it's sitting there rendering it in the background so that you can actually work with it. But if we run it right now, I mean, it is slow. It is sluggish. There's actually nothing I can really do with it. 
You can actually hear the CPU, the uh, fan kicking in. Okay, you see how it is? So, I mean, it is just really, really, really slow. So that right there is the reason why you want to have a good scratch disk. You need a good SSD drive. So if you got, if you're doing this on a desktop, then I would go out and get you uh, 250, 500, a gig SSD card and use that as your scratch card and have it solely as the scratch card. So but anyway, this is Wayne Barron with Dark Fix Studios inside of Pinnacle Studio 23. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.